So I had a couple more questions on uh, tool holding in the HQ400. And this is what I use. This is an ER20 holder. Uh, Morse taper 3 shaft. It holds ER20 collets like so. Uh, if I were going to buy this again, I probably would get the the larger one. Um, I bought this, I think, off of eBay at the time, and the collets were the collets are fine. These original collets I bought, but I did find a a, a better collet. It's a much uh, better tolerance from uh, this place, uh, which I can't really read. I'll put a link to it in the description. But yeah, the holder's fine. It uh, spins very concentric. There's one thing you have to know about these things, though. If you look down in there, it almost looks like it's off, like the threads are off cut at the bottom. Don't remove that ridge. Now, I saw AVE actually take his off. Check it out. See the taper there? The taper. Holy fuck. It's right, Daddy Wampus. So it's not even engaging. The collet's not even engaging on that taper. The first one I got, I took it off because I thought it wasn't centering properly. And what it actually is, is it's meant for you to pop that in. That holds holds it in there with a little bit of resistance. So when you're taking them out, they come out in one piece. So you get that in, and you just tighten, tighten it down. Uh, the set I got only goes up to a half inch. Uh, like I said, I wish I'd got a bigger size. The... Uh, ER24 or even the, I think they make a 28 and a 30. I might be totally wrong about that though. There was a, just a tiny bit of run out with the, with the collets that I received. It really wasn't a big deal. I'm just a little bit picky about things. So I could have run with it, but I ended up buying these other ones. The nice, things about the, nice thing about these two is that they're cheap. Uh, they're really cheap compared to the regular sort of solid collet you get. This is a 5 8 one. Solid collet. These work alright, but the thing I like, the thing I don't like about them is that you have to remove the whole tool. And if you've got a tight setup, you have to, on this machine, I can't just raise the head. So it's much easier to take out this much of tool than it is to take out the whole thing. I hope that makes sense. Now this tooling uses, uh, M12 for the draw bar to go in. This is actually a piece of a fireplace poker. And I took and I welded on an M12 nut on the end of it. And then I threaded the other end of it. And this piece is a spacer. So I made this a little bit over length so that I could also use it on the lathe spindle. It, uh, the spacer helps with that, uh, and this spacer is actually a, a piston ring, in case you're wondering. So it's pretty hard. And then, like I said, I just welded a nut on the end of it, and then cleaned the weld up a little bit. Not completely. Marked it so I knew and remember what it was, and it works really well. The other type of work holding I have for the mill, this doesn't go in the spindle, obviously, this is non-turning, but... These five C collets, collet blocks. This is an octagonal one, excuse me, sectagonal, and a square. These are real nice for getting in the lathe, and you can do six sides. Um, these are a lot more expensive. There's the five C collet. That's real nice for holding uh, round stuff. You can also get the collets that hold square. But let's say you want to put a head on a on a piece of rod to make a bolt. You can do that with this really easily. Just put it in the vise, flip it, cut it, flip it, cut it, flip it, cut it, you're done. The vise I use is a mill vise. They call them that. There's no serrations in the in the faces, as you can see. Um, it's fine for this machine. They're not really recommended for larger machines. Uh, you may have seen. Stefan in Germany uses one of these on all his machines. That's kind of where I decided to go. Uh, they work. It works really well. It's just a cheap one. 
uh, but I was really surprised at the quality of it. It's really tight tolerance, tight fittings. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.